So this question says, from 1990 to 2001, German, German currency included coins called Finnix, worth one Finnig each, and Groschen worth 10 Finnix each. All right, I'm going to write that down. So, um, well, I don't know what to write. So Groschen equals 10 Finnix. I think it's the most appropriate thing to write here. All right, the next sentence says, which equation represents the number of finite coins? Okay, so now we're dealing with variables, not just names. So the number of finite coins, P, so that's the number of finite coins, and Groschen coins, G, so that's the number of Groschen coins, that have a combined value of 85 finics. All right, well, in terms of value, in terms of value, then... I have some number of finite coins, that's P. I don't know how many I have. And I'm gonna to add to that some number of Groschen coins, and the value all together should be equal to 85 Phoenix. So what's wrong with this? It really is units. The unit here is Phoenix. The unit here is Phoenix. But the unit here is Groschen. So how do I convert that G into something that's Phoenix related so that this equation even makes sense? So we are told that every one Groschen is worth 10 Phoenix. So if I had three Groschen, I really need to multiply that by 10 to get the value in terms of Phoenix. So I need to be multiplying 10 times G to understand its value. So this would become then P, because that's just equal to one, right? That's just worth one, plus 10 times G, because every single G is worth 10 Phoenix is going to equal my 85, right? So it's the 10G that lets us convert this second position to a finig um, unit. So our answer here is this, and therefore our correct answer here is choice 